Hey, it's Joe Glass, Madam Editor, and today I got a really cool script for you. It uh, allows you to easily hit a button and use the Whisper API from ChatGPT to transcribe your audio. Let's jump into here. So right now, and I'm just going to demo it, I have it where if I hold down the middle mouse button on my mouse, it will transcribe. So I'm going to hold it down. Usually you have to wait about a half a second, so I wait for this GUI to be visible. So I'm going to hold it down. Now I'll start talking. Now I'm holding the mouse button down. And the second I let go, it's going to take what I did, save it as an OGG file, send it to ChatGPT, transcribe it, and return it back to my clipboard. Now I just let go. There's a little notification here. Now look at that. Wow, that was freaking fast. So let's take a look. Let me turn on the wrap. So that that was crazy fast. Um, as you can see, I think someone here, this chat GPT got messed up. You know, it's not perfect, but boy, it's better than the built-in Windows H hotkey that you can use. Uh, let me go in here. Here's the preferences. If you click this, it'll come up. You get your API key. You can click this. It will bring up. Let me bring over that page. If you don't have an API key, you got to get one from ChatGPT. You can create a new secret, and you get that token and put it in here. And... After that, um, make sure you select your microphone. So I have two, it detects how many microphones you have and which one you wanna use. And there's also a check if the volume is really low, it will actually let you know that there's a problem with the volume. And here you can decide what trigger, so I can choose either a mouse, a keyboard, or disable it, because we didn't think someone would be using a hot string, and plus you have to hold it down. So um, we can, you can either say keyboard, and now I'm gonna hit like the, um, hold down the tick key. So I could hit apply and that would be the key I hold down. Um, I just said, let me go to use the mouse and use my middle mouse button. Um, and I'm gonna reapply that. Now this hot key, this window shift R, you can choose that the same way. This one allows you to choose, um, let's say a keyboard and you can, this has the window shift R, but you get to pick and choose. It will toggle whether the thing is that, that, this button works or not because let's say you were doing something and you you had it with that middle tick button but you wanted to be able to hit that middle tick button right because it's not a combo button we wanted something really easy we didn't want to have it as a key combo because for a lot often that's just a little too complicated for something that's really quick so maybe you have a dedicated key you can assign on your keyboard and never have to worry about it but uh we, we wrote it this way so it's a little easier to deal with it it also writes to a log file and there's one more thing i want to demonstrate let me Close this guy and we can close that. So I'm gonna right click it and say upload transcribe. Here I can pick, uh, actually ironically, that's this file. Let me say um, this data Picard, this is a, a extract from um, Enterprise from Star Trek. So, and now there, that was what, it took that video file, converted it to OGG and then transcribed it and then pushed it back to my clipboard where I can paste it wherever I want. Now, we're gonna build other versions of this where you will be able to um, shove right your what you recorded into ChatGPT and have it get the prompt, but that's gonna be, it's a little tricky because you want it to be an interactive, the real power of the ChatGPT is it's an ongoing conversation, right? So. We'd have to have a separate hotkey to to kind of reset it versus starting a new conversation, right? Or maybe there, maybe within the first, um, if you do it again within a minute, we keep that conversation going. But if it's longer than a minute, maybe we start a new one. But that, this gets a little complicated. Um, the other one I want to be able to do is to select text and then give it instructions about that text. So let's say if I'm in an email, I could select the text, hit a hotkey to give it a prompt on to say, hey read this email, reply to it, and tell them I'm not interested, and then it would actually look at the email to get more context, and of course it knows who I am, and maybe we could even assign a certain assistant, so you give it the tone, but that could be part of the instructions too, and it will push it all into your clipboard for you, and um, yeah, just a really, really cool, simple tool that um, you can grab on the automator. I forget, I think this one, I think we're setting the price really low, it's like a dollar, or um, maybe $1.99, the other tools will probably add a little bit more in cost, but of course there are your token charges for the ChatGPT, but they're actually very low. Like we've found it's it's really, really reasonably priced. So hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video if you learned something here or are interested in this tool. Um, it really helps us out. Have a great day. Cheers.